got two browns today. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Uh, we are on the shed tour. Let me tell you what, man. We just woke up from a long night, sleeping out in the cold, in the wind. This is my setup right here. The wind uh, picked up a lot of dust and threw it into my face, so it's getting sandblasted at times. But Ben and I are just chilling, waking up, and I don't know. I just I'm in such a good mood. Like I really feel like. This is just my jam, you know, waking up out in the mountains and you see bounce out of bed. hanging out with your buddies. I've been working on content, put up a vlog on my channel, put up a bunch of TikToks, which by the way, Hush is on TikTok now. You guys need to go over there and check that out. We're trying to get creative and not get banned. That's basically the goal each day is not to get shadow banned on TikTok. But I don't know, man, this is, this is what I love, truly. And I'm glad you guys are here. So if you love shed hunting, you just like the camaraderie hanging out with your buddies the radio's popping off you made it to the right channel make sure you subscribe i think we're we're well into the first start like the first quarter of shed tour videos so welcome and uh let's go have some fun ben's getting geared up oh, for yeah. a full day we're gonna go today the day is like the day we've been looking forward to full day in the zone let's go <laughs> how'd you sleep dude not good <laughs> honestly but I'm pretty impressed with Ben's uh, sleeping pad here. I want to go get one. He said it's just off Amazon. Yeah, it's called like a Trekology or something, but they're like, it's cheap, like 30, 40 bucks. Dude, and it's contoured, like, so you actually, you know, hopefully stay on the pad. Anyways, we're getting geared up, guys. We're going to eat some breakfast and go hit the hills, find more sheds. But uh, here's camp. Doing a little bit of a water run before we get going. Is it steep enough? Yeah. Those bottles are so big. They are big. They're not the good ones to fill out of, but you, this one you can get it down. Clean spring water. And we do have iodine tablets if Ben wants them. I got plenty. Taking tips from old Matty Ice. Use a piece of bark to make a spout. Just enough for uh, Ben to get his bottle in there. So we're filling them up. Where there's water, there's life. Here we go. Ben and I split up. And uh, just taking different lines through this jungle at the moment. Trying to get to the next canyon, I think, has potential. New day, new goals. I uh, have a goal set for four antlers to camp today. Very doable, especially with the full day. We're just gonna have to save some time to get out of where I'm going, because it's a ways in there. I got some elk scat, not a lot, but this whole area has potential, so eyes open and total focus. Getting into elk sign again, finally. And uh, what do you know, it's kind of the shady pocket that seems to have the tracks and the rodeo grounds, which I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, it's definitely not bad. Track is good regardless. But what I mean is, is this stuff so fresh, it's not where they shed, it's where they've been lately now that it's starting to get hot. And I feel like, I feel like there's a brown somewhere in here. It might not be on this side of the canyon, but there's a brown set somewhere in here. So before I carry on to the next draw, I'm gonna work this one a little bit, but yeah, look how fresh these tracks are. I mean, that's pretty dang fresh. But they can't be far, they didn't shed too long ago. So let's work this and see what we can come up with. 
Well, we figured there'd be an antler in here, but I didn't, wasn't expecting a white one. Take a look at uh, what's right in front of me down here in the creek bottom. It's definitely white. Not a bad one. Hey, hey. Right side, go oh, right down here in the bottom. Where all the critters can get to it, but that's last year's. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's still in good shape. Sweet, we'll take it. Guys, we're in him. This might be a little pocket. I'm gonna have to zigzag in here a little bit. Well, let's pick it up. It's a good sign. With all this fresh track in here, you gotta think there's a brown or two. Oh no, it's it's nice and dark on the inside. I thought maybe it had been kicked over and it was maybe a two-year-old. But the inside's nice and chocolate. Outside's a little bleached, but uh, the type of bulls I love to pick up, not real big, but the kind that you just get stoked on and really gets you motivated to just keep going and find the next one. So I'm dropping the pack and I'm gonna do some lines through here, but check out the burr. Kinda grayed up, but. Heck yeah, guys. We'll take it. We've got our next shed, guys. Looks like a solid white one. Dang, you gotta love when you just hit a pocket, see the sign. This isn't even, this isn't even where I was headed, but with the sign, I knew I had to slow down and maybe make some cuts through here. And two whites already. This one is kind of in the open, so that's cool. Dang it, it's old though. Oh yeah, that's old. How did I not see this thing? It's kind of glass in this direction and I still missed it, but I think it was just out of my, uh, out of the line I could see. Dang guys, that is a big, heavy pink. But unfortunately that one's gonna stay. Well, well, we got an update, guys. We're getting in here pretty deep, and right when I just about, well, I was pretty close to deciding that I need to turn around, maybe go hit some of those canyons closer to camp, and then I glass a shed. So now I'm committed to go even further. <laughs> but this is kind of where I wanted to get to anyway, so um, I'm gonna just keep glassing and We'll eventually get over there and pick that up. Looks like a right side. Looks white, but um, we'll just have to get over there to see. Hmm. Hold on. Dang it. That's not what we want. I basically Pick the worst way out of here. <laughs> if I can even get out of here, through here. This, uh, this wash bottom is tore up. It's getting ledgy on each side. So I honestly don't know if I'm gonna get ledged out or not. <clears throat> I didn't want to walk all the way around, so here we go. Up this piece we go. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm lucky that this hasn't cliffed out yet enough to turn me around. I think I made it through the worst part. There was a nice little ledge. Would have been a waterfall if it had water. But luckily, I could scale up it. Well, this is like the dumbest waste of time I've ever done. No sheds in here. Maybe a deadhead. Oh, I'll take a deadhead right now. I got nothing on the pack. Uh, Ben's been doing pretty good, but a lot of it has been chalk. So we're just not in the right pocket, guys. But back to the drawing board. Well. Guys, we pulled out of there, made it. Getting into some elk beds, tracks, 
and uh, I look across the ridge and I can see a, a white antler right side kind of tines down into the dirt the back side looks like it's chewed on a little bit so I wouldn't be surprised if it was chalky but we have nothing going for us so <laughs> we might as well loop around and uh, go check it out can you see it right there kind of about dead center of the screen yeah that's definitely a shed let's go check it out thought I saw a little point coming off it what is that heck yeah that's kind of a cool shed other than it's getting chewed to heck <laughs> look how that's sitting there that's what I could see right there I thought I, I saw this and just wasn't sure what to think about it Heck yeah, we'll take that one. I'd say it's worth keeping. Even though it's chewed to crap, that would have been a mega devil tine. Oh man, it's in good shape. If this thing wasn't by a bush where rodents could get at it, it would probably be in really good shape. And I'll tell you what, that thing is dense weighs a lot for just what it is pretty sweet guys yeah we'll take that one I'm gonna throw that on the pack and uh, move on we got just enough time to maybe find one or two more all right time check we're nine miles in seven hours and 47 minutes it's already uh, 5 p.m. so time is running out got a long way to camp and uh, I'm just headed up the canyon where my first shed is. Definitely want to snag that. It was a good, solid, hard white. But that many hours, that many miles, not the best ratio. This whole trip hasn't been the best. But it's dang fun. And out here doing it with Ben has been a blast. But I bet you one thing. With the next hour and a half, I'm going to try my best to get one more. Because I just itching for that next time seeing that big white burr so let's see what we can stir up in this canyon yes guys i told you i wanted more and i was gonna grind to get it and, uh, and uh straight ahead of me up in here big old white left antler Ooh, man, I am so glad that I decided to walk up that dumb creek bottom because it sucked, but it put me in place to find the one on my backpack and now this one. Yeah, guys, that's a good one. That's a good one. Ooh, look at that third. Yeah, baby. Gosh. I hope it's last year's. Please be a six. It's not much of a main beam. Ow. Whew. Dang, fellas. What's up? Look at the... No way. Did I just find the other side or... It's, dude, if this is the other side, that will blow my mind. That's so far away. Pretty sure mine's a right. This a left. I think I just matched up the Mondo 5. And I can't believe where he went. That's a right. That's a left. We got to match that, baby. <laughs> yes. I can't believe that. Look at this devil tine. Got the same devil time. Well, that's good. At least I don't need to go trying to find the other side since I already have it. That's funny, guys, because I was trying to find the match over in the other draw. It's all the way over here. <laughs> I knew it. If, if that thing wasn't chewed, yeah. 
I knew if that thing wasn't chewed, it'd be sweet, and that's proof. That's the other side. <laughs> this side got hammered in the bushes. This one's a little more in the open, and honestly, my theory is when, the, when they're in the brush, the rodents can feel safe and uh, gnaw on the antler, you know, at all times in the night and the day, whatever, and just be protected by the bush. When they're in the open, they're in danger to predators, but that's a freaking stud bull. And those are some wicked, wicked devil tides. So yeah, that's pretty sweet, guys. We got the match. Ugh. I really feel like there's a set of browns somewhere right in here. But look at those babies. Pretty cool looking burrs. This one's all white. This one's kind of been in the dirt. But man, those devil tines are sweet. Pretty awesome, guys. Let's throw these on the pack and get moving because we're running out of daylight. Total bonus. And I'm stoked. Yeah, coos deer. Heck yes. Last year's shed in good shape. Guys, we're counting that as a shed to the shed goal just because it's in good shape. It's not often I find them solid like this. Um, last year's shed, so count that right above camp too. So we'll talk about a bonus at last light. This game over, whoa. And uh, pretty proud of myself. I made it to camp before dark. I honestly didn't think that was possible, but I've been cruising on a straight line all the way here. And it uh, looks like Ben is here. He's getting ready to build a fire. Let's go see what he's got. What do you got, what do you got? Let's see. I see brown. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six to the pack. Bro, shed crazy in the house. What I was going for a six. Dude, on this you one. did get a good one. Yeah, no. Heck bad, yeah. No nice. Ben, stoked for you, man. Me too, man. I'm stoked. <laughs> yeah. Look at those. Dude, I'm so glad you went and found the match to the brown. Dude, it was so far away. Really? <laughs> Just lucky line? Yeah, totally the other side of the ridge. That's how this white set was. Really? I should have never found the match. Just a rando. Oh, yeah. Hard whitey. They get chewed here, huh? Yeah, dude. Rando, hard whitey. Same yeah. thing last year's, but already munched. Get some, this dude. This way more in the sun on that yeah. side. Yeah. Shaded. Two year olds, huh? Mm -hmm. Dude, two year olds are still in good shape. Long beans. Turn the corner, you know? I like it, man. Not bad, nice not bad. Nice work. Boom. Oh, Bonus coos. You walked right by it on the top of the hill right there. Of course I did. I saw your track a couple times. Really? How far away did I miss it? I by? mean, I just would see your track, then I'd get off it, and then I'd see it. So somewhere up there. Cool, man. Heavy, bro. You packing that around all day? Why? No. You can drop it. Yeah, that set is actually pretty heavy. They're way up good. Look at the devil times on the dang things. Oh, yeah, dude, those are sweet. See, so that's the good one. Uh-huh. Here's the single white, just a rando. This is the good one. Ooh. Yeah, dude. Freaking nice color. That's so sweet. Last year's, huh? Yeah, still in good shape in the mines. No cracks. I love that freaking bush. But unfortunately, this guy was stuffed in a bush, and look at the difference. Oh. Still dense and heavy, but. Yeah. Freaking sweet bull. Man, yeah. I love that side's awesome. I know, he's pretty look sweet. Chewers, dude, heavy. They are dense antler. It's a good set. 11.25 miles in nine and a half hours. And we got some bone to prove it. We're gonna save that on the Onyx. We're cooking dinner back to camp. Uh, ben had a can of thick chili, chunky chili. Got my name on it. And then I had some uh, brats, 
and Ben had some uh, tortillas left over. So we're doing a chili dog and this bomber tortilla. And honestly, like, dude, I think this is the most exciting thing I've had. Guys, we're just gonna grub and uh, we have, unfortunately, another windy night just here at camp. We have to sleep. There's a chance that we go on a half day shed hunt tomorrow because Ben glassed a big shed. So um, I'm not gonna close this video out until tomorrow. So for now, good night. Hope you guys are having a good shed season so far. Make sure you go check out Ben's channel and give yourself a plug. All right, I will. Hi guys, my name is Ben and my, my channel is called Shed Crazy. I do shed hunting and other fun things. Check it out at the link in the description. <laughs> did, I, did I do it right? <laughs> you got it. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another day. And uh, we got a good surprise for you today. Like you said, the shed hunt wasn't over. And that's because old Ben glassed a bomber shed from right here yesterday. After some deliberation, said, you know what? We got enough food. We can go get some water and we're gonna go get that thing. So that's the goal today is yeah. to go pull this thing out, see what the heck it is. Estimations, Ben, what do you think? Oh man, I don't wanna be negative Nancy. I think it's gonna be chalk, but uh, I really hope it's hard white and I think it's gonna be like 350 plus. Dang, that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna buzz around. Ben's gonna be eagle eyes. He found a brown set on this ridge yesterday. So fingers crossed that we can stumble upon something else and not just get this one. And I think with a little bit of work and a couple of zigzags, we can probably make that happen. So I'm gonna head over there guys. Wish me luck. Well, funny story. There's a glassing over here because I had to figure out a way to navigate these ledges. I saw this circular thing. I was like, what the freak is that? That's definitely not a rock. I just saw a bunch of old, old canned soup cans, and then I saw this. And big old canteen. Huh. That's interesting. That's old. There's an old fence right here, and I bet whoever is building that fence is out here with this stuff. Heck yeah, guys. Check it out. What I thought was a brown. What I thought was a brown is a brown. <laughs> That's good news. That made it all worth it right there. So his other side is somewhere close. He's heavy. But like I said, it just looked like nothing was going on in the back end. But this thing gave it away. Dead giveaway. Right here in the beds. So you know there's more here somewhere. <laughs> what a stubby. Sucker, there's not much left of the Royal, and honestly, I don't think it would have been very tall because it's just so fat. But a nice brown nonetheless, which means where there's one, there's more. So we're gonna get this and carry on to Ben's whites. Let's hope they're in good shape, guys. This is a good sign. Um, this year, they're shedding at this area, this elevation. So that makes me think that last year, it could be shedding right here, so hopefully Ben's a, a nice solid white. Just the way we like them. Big old white burr. Pretty sweet, huh? Let's go. Getting to the shed that started it all up here. Let's hope it's in good condition. It's somewhere right ahead of me. Aw, oh, man. It's chalk. Dang it. Holy flyer. Dang, man. I'm gonna hold that up for Ben. Ben can see me now, but dang it, it's old. It looks dark on the back. Is it chalk or hard white? Chalk, dude. You see that extra kicker off the Royal? Decent. 
Huh. Oh, they've been here before. That's good. Wish that thing was last year's though. That would have been sweet. Gosh, damn, it's impossible to walk through this stuff. Man, they were in here thick years ago. Gosh, guys. Look how dry that is. Garbage. Leave that one here. Roll in. Okay, we've got nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a coos. So I'm going ten double digits. We're just getting done. And now it's the time to throw it on and see how it feels. The fun part. So nine elk and one coos. Not the heaviest load, but ain't the lightest. <laughs> Woo. Hands up. Ain't no All thing. Right. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, least. shoot, I wasn't recording. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, dude, we don't do redos on this channel, bro. Like, you missed it? You missed it, you missed it. All right, let's do this, guys. We're getting ready for our pack out. He's got six. He decided to leave one of the big chalks, a really pretty six. But I don't blame him. We have... Just enough water to get out. There might be some springs on the way back, but we're looking to just get to the truck and unload. There's not much else to film, but if we stumble on something, we'll pull out the camera for now. We're just trying to take care of business. Cause this, this is no joke right here. I know these videos look all fun and games, but this ain't fun. <laughs> Guys, we just went through the bushiest of bushy uh deadfall old burn i'll tell you what that like 800 yard stretch way worse than this steep pine face way worse <laughs> you gotta feel like cruising after that you feel like a mountain athlete after jumping logs and ducking logs and bro i feel like a freaking pin cushion after going through all those thorns yeah our arms aren't doing so hot neither our legs but we're making it this is the biggest push of the hike out, and if we get to the truck at daylight, I'll be stoked. Yeah. We yeah. got cold drinks there. Uh-huh. There's no rush. Just keep pushing, keep going. This is the glamorous, the not glamorous part. Everybody sees the big stacks on the uh -huh. ground. All the pickups. They don't see this. This part sucks, but it's the part that when you look back on it, you'll be like, dude, remember we freaking pulled up out of that brush. That was so crappy. <laughs> now we're at home in our bed. We'll laugh about it. Yeah, it's a grind, guys. Like Ben said, the videos, I know they're fun. I hope they're fun for you guys to watch. But man, I hope you appreciate the work that goes into these videos. Because um, it's not like we can just write a script and go film something like this. A lot of hard work that goes into it. And taking the batteries and the cameras is part of the fun, but I love this stuff, man. Let's go. Let's go upwards. Hey, what's up guys? Just realized while I'm editing this video, which I'm doing that right here in my little office, we never made an outro on this video. So I wanted to take a minute just to thank you guys for watching another video. And I hope you guys are enjoying Shed Tour videos like I said on that last clip. Shed Tour is still kind of maybe, I don't know, first quarter, second quarter. Um, I still got a lot of energy and motivation to get out. And I'm sitting on a bunch of Shed Tour videos that still need to be cut and uploaded for the channel. But I wanted to give you guys a heads up because I don't think we've taken a second to say this on YouTube. But our video schedule here is going to be Monday vlog. And we're adding Tuesday. It's not going to be every Tuesday, but when needed, when we have a good pile of videos, we're going to add Tuesday evening videos at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And then, of course, we're going to do Thursday and Sunday. So... When we have episodes for podcasts, we're also gonna be putting those up Wednesday. So that's potentially five videos a week for you guys and with a lot of variety of different stuff. I think coming up in the hopper is gonna be some turkey hunts and then I'll be continuing shed tour. I know Matt and BMAC are actually starting to get out and fish. So you guys should be seeing a lot of different variety on the channel, all kinds of spring stuff. We have bear hunts coming up, more turkey hunts coming up 
and there's just going to be a big variety of content here on the channel. So thank you guys for watching and please subscribe if you're a new viewer. Uh, we'd love to have you in the Hush fam. And just a reminder, you can get all our merchandise on our website at gethushing.com. So we got the hats, the shirts, sweatpants. Um, we've got archery equipment, pyro puttery, all kinds of options available at gethushing.com if you guys want to support the brand, which we would appreciate. So thanks again, guys. Hope you're having a good shed season. Today is May 1st, so that means Nevada, Colorado, and Wyoming all opened up. So if you guys had some success, tag us on social media and show, show us what you guys found. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video.